And now it's time to check in with the man who has the real opinion, Mr. Gino Reynolds. And Gino, you went and saw Resident Evil this weekend. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Before everyone Doesn't says, oh, like you, you, you didn't give it a chance, I went and seen it twice because I wanted to just I wanted to figure out, was it really as bad? I walked out the second time when the, wow. about a half hour left. If this movie got rid of all the slow-mo, it would have mm -hmm. been about 35 minutes long. <laughs> it, it was so slow. The pacing was so bad. The acting was horrific. You know, yeah. at least I thought maybe even the action would be good. The, the fight scenes were very uninspiring. Mm -hmm. They only had a couple of good ideas. The first good idea was they recapped the other movies at the first. That helped me because I didn't watch the other four again. Right, right. And then for some reason, the idea of a, a Russian zombie army with machine guns was a cool idea. Yet it was, <laughs> it was kind of wasted. I don't know why. It just the idea seemed pretty cool. Maybe because of the movie Outpost. The movie right, Outpost had right. the, had the uh, Nazi zombie army. Maybe it was a play on that. The movie it had nothing going for it. It, it used a lot of the same ideas that mm -hmm. the other, especially from the first movie. I felt like I was watching the first movie again, just not as good. Okay, so it wasn't quite a reboot, but it just was. Well, no, it continued the story, yeah. and and you know it was it just they took a lot too many of the same ideas and used them again, and I felt like the, I've seen this before. But it was just done a lot worse. And unfortunately, kids, there's going to be another That's one. That's exactly what I was just going to ask. I can't believe that they're going to. Uh, yeah, I have, the, I have that. If, way. God willing, if I'm still doing this job, I have that to look forward to. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. That sounds good. Well, we look forward to your review, definitely. I don't know if I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's switch gears to uh, your, your contest that's still going yeah, on. Yeah, we, we have, I have plenty it. of Pitch Perfect tickets left. I'm giving away five a day through this Thursday. Uh, the showing is next Monday at 7 p.m. at the Beverly. First come, first serve. Show up early. If you get them, just email me at therealopinion at yahoo.com. Don't forget the underscores. Right. <laughs> uh, I've got plenty of tickets. I've had people ask me, I hope you, do you still have some? Yes, I have plenty. Send me an email. You're probably going to get one. I'll, I'll let you know by email if, you get, if I can get them to you. Okay, that sounds good. And uh, the movie is sort of, you, you mentioned it's kind of like Glee a little bit, right? I would say, maybe, I, don't, I don't really watch Glee, so I don't know how much of a comedy Glee really is, but this mm -hmm. seems like a Glee movie type comedy. I thought the trailer looked funny. I'm actually kind of looking forward to seeing it. All right, well, we look forward to your review too, all right? Uh, thank all you. Right. Thanks a lot for being here. We'll be right back.